And our first guest is a Hollywood actor who has graced our movie and television screens for five decades. For most of his career, Tom Skerritt played supporting roles in some unforgettable films from Aliens to Steel Magnolias and of course, Top Gun. But now, well into his 80s, Tom has shifted into a new role, leading man, and we are thrilled to be joined now by actor Tom Skerritt, who's joining us from his home in Seattle. Tom, it is so nice to see you. Can I just say you are a Northwest treasure? Well, thank you very much. <laughs> what kind of treasure am I, Michael? Well, <laughs> we have to talk about East of the Mountains because this yeah. is your newest film and mm. it is already garnering some big honors. It is um, nominated for Best Picture and you are nominated for Best Actor for the Satellite Awards from the International Press Academy, so congratulations. Thank you very much. And I know the last time that we talked was a few years ago. Production on this was just beginning. And it is based on a novel and set here in our state. And you are such a champion for films being made in the Pacific Northwest. How much did that play a role in you taking on this project and wanting to make this film? All of it. Um, six years ago, I was teaching uh, storytelling to PTS vets that were coming back from um, Af Afghanistan and Iraq several years ago. And a friend of mine, uh, Dave Goodison, who had written the book, good writer. I invited him to come up and teach one of those classes. And afterwards, he said, I'd love to see you play that role if I ever get the money to fund it. And I said, well, that would be fine, just fine. I love the idea of shooting stuff here that begins here, that um, uh, every aspect of it should be considered a Washington-made film, not talking about Hollywood. Uh, and that we wanted to have, I wanted to push women to the forefront. I wanted to have a woman director and a woman producer, and that's where we wound up. It's wonderful, and um, you know, this is also, it's hard to believe because you have done so many projects over the years, but this is your first leading role in a film? I've never thought of it that way. Um, it's, I'm an actor who makes a living as an actor and it's, it makes it, uh, it's very appreciative that I've been able to do this. And that's really how I think about it. If it's a nice role and a film that tells a good story, I want to be a part of that. Well, you certainly have been a part of a lot of that. And that's why you're also being honored with um, the Mary Pickford Award, which is essentially a lifetime achievement award, also from the International Press Academy. When you look back at at your career, do you remember every role? Do you remember lines from these roles? Does it even feel real that you're getting this Lifetime Achievement Award? Well, the last part, uh, I agree with that one. The rest of them, I just, I fell into it and it was a job it's, that uh, made it possible I could feed my family well, deal with that situation and um, to be able to make a living being a creative for, for that long a period of time, 60 years, is everything I would hope for. We touched on this before, but you really are such a cheerleader for film productions happening here in Washington State specifically. What more needs to happen in order for that to become more of a reality? Do we need more talent here in terms of, of filmmakers, crews, um, do we need more tax breaks for studios to bring their productions here? What needs to happen? Well, none of that matters unless you can't have a crew that's here, uh, available crew, a professional crew that can support what we're doing. We were able to get a good crew out of this uh, for East of the Mountains. We were able to get a good crew locally, which was wonderful. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, uh, Incoming films are rare to find, yes. and um, we feel that we can do, there is the talent here that if we can solidify to make our own projects, we can do well. It's just that solidification process that has to take place before you can bring in anything, before you can do any successful films that to reach the world at large. Uh, an industry is something that when you're selling a product mm -hmm. outside of the state and 
you have revenue coming back and that's what we're gonna, that's what we're hoping for. As you look back on your career, what gives you the greatest sense of pride? What do you feel most proud of accomplishing or giving to audiences or doing yourself? Working and learning from the best filmmakers of the 70s, back to Robert Altman and Hal Ashby and Ridley Scott. I mentored with them and uh, I think I learned more about the whole thing, acting certainly from those guys than I would otherwise. And so what comes next? We know you're not done yet. Is there gonna be Tom Scared in a musical? Like what haven't you done at this point? I'm just trying to finish a screenplay and a memoir right now. And I've been a writer all my life. I was, a, I was an English major at UCLA and thought I might wanna write on a level that uh, Arson Wells wrote when he did uh, Citizen, Citizen Kane, which is a big bar to try to jump over. And uh, I just keep writing, you know, and I have right from the beginning. So that's a long and short of that. Well, for a great writer, you don't seem to have the word retirement in your vocabulary, but we all benefit from that. So <laughs> thank you so much for your time and congratulations on all the recognition that you're getting for your new film. Just, just keep moving. Love it. Take care. Wow. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. Tom Skerritt, everybody. Just the absolute best.